Stephen O'Neill, chief building official in City Hall, sat down with us to talk about the steady rise of Lubbock's economic growth and gives Texas Tech and the medical community in Lubbock a lot of credit for that. Tech and, and, and medical, you know, when they grow, you know, you've got to have, obviously, you know, the service industries to, to back up those, those folks that are coming in and joining the community. You know, and it's just got a trickle-down effect. And so we've had... Uh, you know, great growth over a number of years here. The past two years, we've seen record permit activity, uh, and it, we're on tap for another record year here. So, uh, how long can we sustain it? Who knows? You know, but we count our blessings. According to the City of Lubbock's building permit data, the new single family starts are on a steady rise since 2012. With that being said, O'Neill said there is a higher demand for new restaurants and grocery stores. Heads in bed, so to speak. You know, we've got to have more. You know, I've said more restaurants, <laughs> but more grocery stores, more restaurants. You know, more uh, mercantile uh, type businesses and so forth to you know, serve the populace. You know, so, uh, like I say, it's a trickle down effect. Anil said he also thinks Lubbock's arts and culture community is on the rise and is excited to see where that will go. I'm extremely excited about, and I'm not really an artsy guy. But I'm, ex I'm extremely excited to see how, how the arts and cultural things are growing in public. Uh, you know, we just got through uh, reviewing the uh, Buddy Holly Performing Arts Center. And, um, you know, we've had an opportunity to, just on the plans and with all the workings with the design team and so forth on that, seeing all the 3D you know, fly-throughs and so forth. That is going to be such a jewel and such a beauty. Just, just to behold, you know, visually, and not to mention, you know, what it's going to mean for, you know, the, the young people, you know, people of all ages, but particularly the young people here in the city, to uh, the opportunities that's going to afford them to be exposed to uh, the performing arts and to rub shoulders with, you know, uh, the, the talent that's going to come in here and, uh, and the coaching and, and things of that nature. O'Neill said he believes in the future, Lubbock will have grown tremendously. Well, the next five to ten years, I think, I think we're going to see tremendous growth, but I, I don't think we'll be on par with you know, Dallas or Houston. Um, certainly much larger, and, and again, I'm not an economist, uh, real estate economist or anything of that nature. But my gut tells me that you know, Lubbock will be much, much larger you know, than it is now, uh, and I think we're managing that growth pretty well. And I think Lubbock has tended to manage their growth very, very well through the years, uh, particularly in the area of uh, traffic planning, you know, uh, both due to the, the city and the metro metropolitan planning organization and Textile. They kind of stayed ahead of that, uh, which is good. I mean, you know, for a city our size uh, and as busy as we are, even though there's always construction going on, it seems like, no matter where you drive, to still be able to get anywhere in this city in 15, 20 minutes is pretty amazing. All in all, Lebanon's growth is on the fast rise. The City Hall issued over 100 permits for residential duplexes or multifamily homes in 2016. It'll certainly be interesting to see what Lebanon looks like in the next decade or two.